Well, I got started with uh, Illinois History Fair when my own children were in high school, and they participated, and I made a, a curtain, and I helped out, and once had to uh, overnight ship a, a History Fair paper that was left at home instead of taken with them. Um, and then I, after working with them, I realized I could get my students to do this, and it wasn't going to be that difficult. After I had this experience as a parent. And so I started in 2000, and we didn't even make it to state uh, in 2000. I learned a lot that year. I felt so badly that I hadn't been a better, uh, a better tutor for the kids. And then uh, the following year, uh, we went to, we won the state and went to nationals. The learning curve is really, you know, you learn really fast. And um, big thing I learned, primary sources. Biggest thing, your bibliography is extremely important. I had kids who did a wonderful performance, great actresses, um, very knowledgeable, but they didn't have the primary sources needed. And I vowed, as, as Scarlett O'Hara said, I shall never be hungry again. We shall always have a, a dynamite bibliography. Well, I think the best primary sources are personal interviews. And so, and I always say to my kids, uh, let's try to find somebody who's, who's been around the block, somebody who's a little bit older who might have information. Um, I had kids when they did their project on polio, what they did was um, uh, set up an online uh, area where they asked for people who were polio survivors, and they got people to write into them and tell them their stories. And so wonderful about how they had survived polio as children. And that became a, a tremendous source. Uh, another way is to look at newspapers, especially online historical newspapers are really wonderful. You don't have to live in an area where you have wonderful libraries. You can just get online and find especially the historical uh, newspapers such as the Chicago Tribune. They develop a natural interest in history. And um, from there, they also learn about the importance of a bibliography, how to write. Also that, because there is, for instance, in performance, a time limit, that being excessively wordy is certainly in not what we're looking for. How to be concise, but get to the point. Uh, so good writing skills are very, very certainly go throughout um, their career, and about working with others being able to compromise, uh, taking, into other, taking into account others' uh, desires in order to come up with a, a good product in the end.